the forehead of your robot. I'd like to share an experience I had playing the Valve game Team Fortress 2. I think it was around 3 a.m. on a Sunday. Pretty late at night, I know. But I didn't have school at that time of the week. Anyway, I think this happened about two years ago. I forgot this had actually happened until a week ago, and I decided to write about it here. Before I start, I just want to say I'm going off of plain memory here, so take this with a grain of salt. Me and my two friends usually play on the map, CTF2 Fort, a capture the flag map, where you try to steal the enemy's intelligence, and bring it back to your base, which adds a point. One day, I asked my friends if they could play another game of TF2, and unfortunately they were busy with homework. However, I had finished mine prior to this, so I decided to play by myself. I went to the community server tab and scrolled down, searching for some good capture the flag servers. Soon enough however, I was able to find one. I don't remember the name of the server, nor do I have the IP either. All I remember is that it had around 23 players, with one free slot. I double clicked the server and I started to join. Immediately as I did, my game froze. This is quite strange, since I have a pretty beefy computer with good specs, and I also recently changed the graphics card as well. However, I didn't think much about it, thinking it may have been loading all the models and such. After a while, I think about half an hour, the game finally loaded. When it had, the game had frozen again, with the audio repeating in the background. Then, in the bottom right, I see that my antivirus came up, and say, website blocked due to compromised. Seeing this, I was understandably confused, I mean, how can a TF2 server make my antivirus go off? I sat at my desk, as the game was frozen for more than 12 minutes. I started thinking of just closing the game via task manager, but as I was about to, the game and froze. Relieved, I chose red and went to the class soldier. I then walked out the spawn door. Our team had scored a point, although the other team had two. Determined to make us win, I went left down the hallway that led to the balcony, where snipers are usually at, and hopped down where the entrance to the bridge was. To my confusion, I heard gunshots, and explosions like normal, but I didn't see anyone, nor was I taking any damage. I checked the leaderboard, and there were of course players on the server as well. It was strange, since I heard the sound of gunfire coming up and down the bridge. I walked down the bridge, before entering the blue team's base. I heard the sound of a medigun healing someone, as well as an engineer hitting his sentry with a wrench. What the hell is going on? I said to myself, as I walked into the courtyard. I looked up, expecting there to be a sentry at the top of the stairs, but there wasn't. I went up to the enemy spawn, and although I could hear the sound of the spawn door opening and closing, with footsteps coming out, I couldn't see it opening. I opened the chat, and typed, is anyone here? I waited for about 3 minutes, with no response. I walked around the enemy base for about a couple minutes, until I heard the announcer say someone had picked up our intelligence. This took me off guard, as I looked at the bottom of the screen to see where they were. For those who don't know, there's this thing at the bottom of your HUD, which shows an arrow that points to where yours or the enemy's intelligence is at. Anyway so, the arrow was spinning. Spinning like someone was no clipping around me. I tried my best to try and follow it, but since it was spinning, it was sort of difficult. Eventually, I decided to head down to Blue's Intel, planning on camping in the corner for whoever ran in. Eventually, I heard the rapid footsteps I knew was a scout. I got ready to blow him to smithereens, when I heard the footsteps finally enter the room, I started firing my rocket launcher at the ground. However, my rockets weren't connecting to anything. A couple seconds later, the losing screen came up as if someone capped. I was really confused at this point. How could someone be able to cap? I didn't even see anyone come into the intelligence room. I waited for the next round to start, and after a moment the losing screen eventually disappeared. I was still in the same place before, and a little while after, I was thrown back into first person. This is weird. I remember saying to myself, and I soon exited the intelligence room, and returned back to the courtyard. 
To my surprise, there was no more gunfire, only the map's ambience. Investigating further, I went to Blue's balcony. Immediately after I rounded the corner around the sheet's metal wall, I was headshot. I would be lying if I said it didn't scare me. Nothing appeared in the kill feed, and I waited for the kill cam to see who killed me. When it finally came, it seemed to just simply zoom in on my dead body. My antivirus came back, saying the same thing again, websites blocked due to compromised. I started to have FPS issues, and I respond soon after. So there is players? I asked myself, as I exited the spawn and walked down to the room under the spawn. Once again as I turned the corner. Bam, I was headshot a second time. Just like last time, the kill cam didn't go anywhere, and there was nothing in the kill feed. Starting to get frustrated, I changed to spy, and equipped the cloak and dagger. I exited the spawn again, making sure to cloak before I started walking around. I looked around for about 32 minutes, seeing absolutely nothing. And I still couldn't hear any gunfire. I hopped down into the water under the bridge, and made my way into Blue's sewer I stood there, looking down through the tunnel that led to the metal staircase that went up into the base. After a bit, I thought it was safe enough, so I uncloaked. Almost immediately, I was headshot. I let out an annoyed sigh, as I waited for the expected kill cam, and nothing in the kill feed. But, this time, there was something. I watched as the kill cam finally decided to zoom in on something, and what I saw will always confuse me. It zoomed in on a sniper rifle. It was, as if there was an invisible sniper model holding it, which I presumed was doing the waving taunt, because he was holding it down to his side. My FPS got a lot worse, and my game started to lag more often. As I respond again, my game froze, with my antivirus saying, HL2.exe, detected as malicious. After waiting for a while, around an hour, the game wouldn't unfreeze. I closed the game through Task Manager. Nothing like this has happened ever since, hence the reason I forgot it ever happened. I still play TF2 occasionally, and I never found out why it happened. The reason I did remember it happened, is because of a reddit post with someone having the same exact problem. The gunfire with no visible players, the invisible sniper. If any of you reading this have ever experienced this as well, then please tell me. If something else like this happens, I'll update it. But until then, goodbye.